Yo, this royal blue dripping mods long boosted tee is for Ethan Adams out in California. That's pretty dope. Since I happen to be making this video and dealing with your order, I'm going to include a free drip sticker. So congratulations, brother. You didn't even know you were winning something, but you're winning something. Every package comes with one of these thank you cards. I go ahead and I always write my name on the back. There's a little section for it. Oh, right there on the bottom says, your package was built by one of our Driven Mods team members. Happens to be me this time. Boom, fresh. There's that little signature there, if you can see it. It is kind of a process what goes into packaging my clothes. I take it very seriously. That is because I really care about my clothes and everything that I do. So I go ahead, I insert that in with your shirt. Drip a mod sticker. You know what, actually I'm gonna give you another one too. I'm also gonna give you a small little one by one that as you know from last video is not released. Boom, there you go brother. You are totally hooked up. My boy Ethan, it's your lucky day because you're getting a freaking care package. Seal this bad boy up. Boom. Throw it in my little packages. Now here's the part where you have to make sure it is absolutely fire and everything has to go in a certain way which everyone that folds my clothes and ships them out knows. So everybody's package is the same. Then you take this little strip and once you, once you rip that off, it's official. Cause the glue is exposed and you fold it over, making sure to secure the edges so nothing gets in or out of the package. Then you come to my computer and you go blah, 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 print shipping label. And there was a problem. Of course. <laughs> uh, one thing I like to announce is I do ship every single one of my shirts and anything that you purchase from me, I always ship it first class to get it to you as fast as possible. Also provided with a tracking number. So we're gonna ship these orders out today. Let me hurry and get our boys shipping label. I do not know why it's not working right now, but you know, we run into problems sometimes and luckily it's me. <laughs> so I can figure it out. Oh my gosh, what is going on with my f forehead? Wow. All right. Reprint label. Is it going to work? Unable to retrieve a shipping label. My bad, bro. I try hooking you up and this is what happens. Your order actually get Oh my gosh. What is going on? <sighs> Hold on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what happened, but finally it was, I was able to print out the shipping label, but for some reason it was being weird for a minute. I think the system was just bugged or slowed down, but let's ship this out. Ethan, let's go. Smack. Yo guys, I forgot I was going to show you this. Look at my new home screen on my computer. Oh my gosh, is that lit or what? I honestly want this front splitter. That is why I made this my background so I could really look at that front splitter and really analyze it. Determining if I really want it and oh my gosh, Aeroflow makes this insane front lip splitter thing. And I think I really want it. Um, what do you guys think? Would that be cool on the car? Um, carbon fiber hood, oh my gosh, headlights. Guys, we have so much to do. But anyways, sick new background. I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, respect the drip, Karen. Okay, let's go ship these orders out. I'm going to ship orders out. Do you want to come? Even though it looks like a bum down. Oh my gosh. She's one of a kind. Here, I'll shut the door. Oh, you got the door? Yeah. Oh, it feels so amazing outside. It does. And I'm wearing fuzzy socks. All right, boys, so for this video, I have an end goal to get to. My end goal to get to is to get the car fully done, to get the kit fully installed. I wanna have the kit fully installed by the end of this video, so if I can make it happen, I'm gonna make it happen. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna leave out a lot of the cutting and a lot of the installing, just so I can, oh, oh, car's looking fresh. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is, I wanna leave a lot of the cutting out, just because you guys have seen everything. So I really wanna just push through this and get this last quarter, Get this last rear quarter panel. Oh my gosh, bro, look at my face. I'm not mad though, I promise, <laughs> for real. Install on the car. Um, that's all we have left to do. Um, the door piece, gosh, this looks like a mess, so we gotta clean this all up. I also made, let me put all these shirts in here. All right, so also what I did is I measured on my other side 
Um, this is as far as I, I'm going to cut in to this fender, but I'm gonna try to drag it out a little bit farther just because I mean, here's another big reason on why I cut so much out of the fender is because I was doing some research. I watched this guy and he said he had a very similar kit and he said he ended up having to go back. I don't remember if I was watching a video if I was talking to him on Instagram in the DMs, but he pretty much said he had to go back in and recut out more when he bagged it because it, w it went so low that it was rubbing. So I just wanted to avoid that right now in the beginning. So if I ever do bag it, which I really, really, really do want to, for the sake of not having to go back, and cut more fender out and readjust anything. I just cut them really, really deep. And with nothing left to say, let's head out. Let's go deliver some shirts, come back and start working on the car. Let's go. Hey, welcome to the rocket ship. Keep your arms and legs inside the ride at all times and I feel like I'm gonna scrape but I forgot I raised my car so I'm not, wow. Yo, look what I see in my side mirror. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then if I take a little peek out here, oh my gosh. The car is so wide and I love that I can see it in my mirror. It's just kind of like the whole wing aspect. I can always see the wing and now I can always see the body kit. And that's one thing that I love because now, not only do I know it's there, but I can see it. That's what I love is when you can actually see the mod that you do to your car. For instance, that's why I love exterior mods. That's why I love interior mods because then you get to see it and fill it every day. It's absolutely amazing. All right, let's do some pulls. That was a fat pop. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. My allergies are absolutely killing me. That is all I have been dealing with the last week is insane amount of allergies. My nose itches, my throat itches, my eyes itch. Everything itches except for... Your left nut. <laughs> Whoa. Chill, bro. Oh my God. Cha-ching, oh. package number two. Package number two. Cha-ching, package number three. Three. Cha-ching, package oh. number four. Oh my gosh, we need to take a break. <laughs> Cha-ching. <sighs> Shirts are delivered, y'all should be seeing them within a couple days or something like that. <laughs> something like that. All right, there's a car behind me. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say. One thing that I've noticed about cutting that side, passenger side, front fender is it is opened up so much which has allowed so much more turbo noise to come through and oh my gosh I don't know if it's just me but the turbo flutter is three times louder now and I think it's because I opened it up over there so let's go ahead and give that a try see that one was loud as fuck all right we are back at the crib Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> okay, look, I took it back. <laughs> yep. Put the UE in your own driveway. Smells like clutch. Chill, bro, don't be saying this to the boys. <laughs> wow. One thing I'm super excited about is I really just want to put my wheels on, like so bad. Oh my gosh, it's gonna look amazing. I'm gonna try to get really far with it before I update you guys, but let's see how far I can go without having, a, without having an anxiety attack. All right, let's go. I know I said I wasn't going to inform you guys a lot, but I have to. I honestly have to. <laughs> First of all, I found my left glove, so that's cool. And second of all, I have a much better line drawn uh, for cutting this fender. I'm not going to go too high up in here. I'm actually just going to cut it probably like on the inside of this line. But let's go ahead. Let's hurry and cut this fender up. See, I'm just chilling here, and Sophie brought me a cookies and cream milkshake. Can you believe that? I'm working on cutting my stuff up, and she bringing me milkshakes. That is freaking lit. Once again, best sister award goes out to her. Let's go. <laughs> Smells like straight Subaru. Holy crap. 
crap, guys. This side looks absolutely amazing. I did such a good job on this side. Well, here's the thing. It takes one side to learn how to do the other side. Glamorous, done perfectly. And once we get the welds on there, this thing about to be a banger. Got another package in the mail today and we ran out of rib nuts, so we got more, boys. Let's go. Oh, thought they were the wrong size at first, but we good. They're the right size. Let's continue. I absolutely thought I would never say this. It felt like it was never going to come to be, but I have fully installed the wide body kit on my 2016 Super WRX, boys. Let's go. It looks awesome. Um, there is definitely some things we do need to do. Some final touching, which we can do next video, but guys, the kit is fully installed. Check it out. As you guys can see, the kit is fully on and fully installed. Front fender, here we go, boom. So aggressive, so thick. Driver side fender, so thick. Oh my gosh, and here's the back. Guys, the kit is finally on. Oh my gosh, that took me so long. I highly recommend if you guys ever do decide to do any sorts of crazy, insane external body work to your car, I recommend having a friend. And it would have been nice to actually have someone there with another set of opinions instead of uploading a video and taking everyone's from the comments, which has been immensely nice and has helped a lot. With that being said, I'm gonna have to end the video right here. We will pick back up tomorrow with some fine tuning touches to the car and and we will be 100% done, ready for paint. Wow, that's insane. All right guys, peace out.